so now the next thing is we have to implement the UI of our home screen now what we need is we need to create a reusable widget for an app bar because we will need a bar here in our almost on every web page including our home page so for that purpose inside the view right click on view new new folder create a folder by the name widgets right click on widgets new let's create dot file inside it let's give it name as uh, my underscore app bar my underscore app bar material dot dot then we will create stateless widget we will give it name as my app bar and this uh, using the constructor of my app bar here we will receive some parameters for example the title which we want to display on the uh, app bar so we can say title msg that is title message and then of course uh, we will also need to receive here the true false value you know boolean type value for displaying the back button on the app bar so we can give it name as show back button okay and then here we can say that required this dot title message required this dot show back button and in case of a bar we have to implement the preferred size widget and here we have to say final or we can say directly that is preferred size widget bottom let's add that here this dot bottom and if you see here it show you this red line that is show you this error because it miss uh, the preferred size you know if you click here it will show you this red bulb click on that and it says create one missing override so just click on this create one missing override and it will create that which is basically this and then make sure to remove this const from here and now let's start implementing our reusable app bar first of all we have to make sure that the default back button which every app bar has we want to make sure that that is invisible because we will have our own icon which we will display on the basis of this boolean type variable so anyways we can say flexible space container we will have two colors combination deep orange and purple after the colors where it will be guns then and and then stops and then the tile mode will be clamp tile mode dot clamp then after the container that is after the flexible space which is basically the UI the background color gradient color for our app bar now let's implement the icon button so here basically it will depend on our this boolean type variable on some pages on some web pages we will want to display the back button and on some pages we will not display the back button for example on the home page we will not display the back button because it is our first page so what we can do is we can simply say that show back button if the show back button if it become equals to true then we have to display the back button in that case we will have icon button if okay this is ternary operator which means if so we can say icon button we will implement it okay if show back button equals to true then display icon button otherwise else display nothing but an empty container that is display nothing so now let's quickly implement it our icon button so 
so the icon you can say icons dot arrow back the color for this will be colors dot white and then we have the click event as this is icon button that is when the admin click on it make sure to add a const modifier here and then when the admin click on it we will send the admin to the home screen so this is about our icon button okay after the leading we have to display the title on our f bar so what we can do is using the text widget we can display so we have title message let's apply some text style on it for example the font size will be 20 and the letter spacing will be 3 and then after it the color so in this way we create a reusable widget and now whenever we need this whenever we need to display a bar on any web page we will just call this my app bar and passing these three parameters okay for example now here we can say inside the scaffold you can say a bar my app bar and you know that to this we have to pass some parameters for example the title message title message as this is home screen so we will just display this title that is admin web panel then you know the second thing we have to pass is the boolean type variable which is show back button so as this is the first page we don't want the back button so false and then you know the third parameter which is preferred size widget bottom we have to define it here like for example what we can do is we can say size get preferred size and we will check here that is bottom if bottom become equals to null then we will have size of the app bar the width for which will be 57 and the height will be app bar dot preferred size dot height okay else copy this size okay this one this piece of code and paste it here else if it is bottom is not equals to null then in that case it will be 80 plus okay so we define that here So yeah, that's it. Now let's test our application. So this is our beautiful app bar. Of course, we want this at the center of the screen. So for that purpose, on the app bar above the title, we can say center title true. So the app bar title will be at the center of the screen. As you can see.